Okay, so this is the posh version of the Amstrad 901, the original made in Japan one by Cybernet. I don't know who Biffo is, but I bet he's at Nottingham. So, using our standard replacement mic, I'll use the customer's standard replacement mic when we go through to our base station at the end of the test. So, we did the fake one last, the, the £29.99 El Cheapo Hong Kong. Remember, there's also another Hong Kong one, uh, which is not bad at all. And it's only when you go inside and see the non-screen printed, printed circuit board that you know you've got the really cheap one. So this is the £89.99 one. We found the receive absolutely identical. Uh, it's only a whisker away from 4 watts, which is fine. And um, the difference is that this on this version, the squelch works properly. On the fake version, it doesn't. Uh, we have done a video on slightly addressing that. Tango 21, Mr Chippy. Tango 21, go ahead. Roger Dodger, I'll put my extension squeaker in. Roger that, let me know when you're ready. There we go, I'm ready. Roger that, off we go. Roger. Right, we're passing the house and recording. Roger on that and I've got a tone control. Roger that, so we're uh, going up the road towards the end of it, past Woody's lay-by and the field on the right. Roger Dodger, I like these a bit more trebly, so there we go. Roger. Roger got you at the end of the lane. Roger. Roger. Lancaster service station and it's closed. We're not late, are we? Yeah, well it's 20 past, you would think we'd be open till half past, but clearly not. Alright. I noticed the uh, the camera we use uh, for your view, uh, it's uh, GMT, but I know it's so complex to, was it British summertime? We're in GMT at the moment. It's on British summertime, so it's an hour out. Uh, so it is 20 past 7 for viewers. Not whatever it says on the screen. But it's such a faster change, isn't it, Mr. Chippy? No, it is a bit, but now you mentioned it, I'll do it. Right, we've gone through Lancaster Crossroads. Roger, Dodger. <laughs> Going around Scratchy Corner at Wilsford. Uh, Tango 21 from Mr. Chippy. 
Roger, got you loud and clear going around Scratchy Corner at Wilsford. I, I am on an Amstrad CB901, made in Japan by Cybernet. So it's a 1981 early one. It's doing 3.8 watts output, and I'm on standard replacement on the Roger that. Received. You know what? When you're setting these up, everything's set to bus the manual. Not like 20 something short or something like that, like the fake ones. You know, like the S meter, you couldn't get you better than 120 microvolts for S9, but it's supposed to be 100 microvolts. So There's all things like that which make all the difference. I don't think the, the component balances are uh, not as good on the cheap one, anyway. Yep, Roger that. Right, uh, we're about to be square wheeled very shortly at Wilsford Level Crossing. You don't often get that one. No, it's gone again, so we're off again. I've been off for years. That's true. Right, uh, we're going to go up Wilsford Level Crossing. Roger, Roger. Yeah, there is. Uh, it looks like it's receding, though. Good. Go 21 from Mr. Chippy, we're now at the five mile point. Roger on that, and still weather conditions are like today. So, uh, well, this Amstrad 901, 89599 original Japanese version, and it's doing 3.8 watts output. So, we'll just pop it onto low power for 1.3 amps to do that. So we'll the final little switch at the back. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, it's Yeah, Roger that, absolutely no problem at uh, full power. Low power, yeah, it is a bit noisy again tonight, so uh, it was difficult. Yeah, Roger that, no problem at all. Off you go when you're ready. Roger that. Right, we're on the move again. Roger that, 
Going over raw speed level crossing. Have you got a petrol price for me at that end, please? Over. Uh, petrol price is 139.9148. Okay, that worked absolutely fine, so that concludes the test. Thank you. Roger that. 10 10. 10 10. Right, so that did work absolutely fine, and we've got the customer's microphone. Um, I'll go and fetch it and show it you. So what we've got here is a standard coffin mic as a replacement mic and uh, you know this is what's available currently that's fine but notice it's got the Amstrad logo that somebody's done so someone's gone to the trouble to have these labels produced but I will just point out that at no point did any version of the Amstrad ever come with a coffin mic so there you go you had the Action Man mic, you had the mic similar to um, the Mustangs which came about on the Hong Kong genuine version, this, the £59 Hong Kong one, not the cheap one. Then you got an LCL type microphone, more of a teardrop shape, uh, which came with the El Cheapo one. So there you go, we'll go over to the base station, see what it sounds like on our Midland 76900. Tango 21 testing the Amstrad CB901 with the standard microphone, our standard replacement mic. I'll just try and pop this on low power just in case there's a hump. There we are on low power, 400 milliwatts. Now we'll go back to normal power. And there we are back on normal power. So uh, I'm going to just change it on to the uh, customer's uh, coffin mic that he's bought, which I'll show, which I showed you. Okay, here we are on the coffin mic, as I showed you. Testing one two three four five at five four three two one. I will just mention uh, we've been waiting for an eBay offer to come up because we've got a unit M two hundred which we're going to be parting with, uh, so there'll be a video on that as well. So thanks for watching. I think our next CB radio is a Midland two thousand one. Thanks for watching.